Oh, uh, yes, thank you. I don't know why the game did that. The, the game is doing its own thing. Uh, the Quentin interview will not happen tonight. I've uh, just got in touch with him, and you people have brought up a very good point, okay? You, you brought up a point that if I finish the game, I'll have more questions to ask him. And I can avoid spoilers. So, I'm gonna finish the game, and then the interview will be maybe this week or next week. I'll definitely keep you updated. I don't have a date. But, we're gonna finish this thing. Nano butts. Cargo's all set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff Jesus. in semi-auto mode. This guy's got really pointy head features. Look at the nose and chin are so pointy. Ring ding you know, Carlos. This kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. No, go to space. I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ 320s. Future stealth. Shit. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming. Don't tell me Raiden is going to jump on the missiles and slash them with his sword. Strong enough to take out the drone. Missed opportunity, if you ask me. I'll handle this. Oh I shit, it's happening! Have a nice flight. And people but say Germans aren't funny. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Amazing. I, don't, I thought Mein Kampf was pretty fine. Oh, bad joke! I never read it. All right, bring the chopper around. Oh shit. <laughs> Action pose. <laughs> he didn't even need to move. This is how you start a stream. Oh my god. Oh no. You know, speaking of Mein Kampf... Oh, I'll tell you in a minute. Friend. 
Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. But it, it's Jack. He, he he lives forever. Come on, it's gonna be fine. That see, look, he's even got the fucking sombrero on. Glad to see that you are all right. Mm -hmm. It's time you got out of Denver. See, <clears throat> I told you Ryan's gonna be fine. No big fanfare. Gotta relearn how to play the game. There we go. Get off! Ah, it's Jack the Ripper time, baby! You've got no arms left! There we go. Getting it. I'm getting back into the swing. Back into the swing. Back in the New York groove. Get that arm. I got an A. Whatever. Uh, anyway, speaking of mind comp. Oh right. shit! Wait. Are no, right? not yet. I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company. Yeah. How fortunate they are in Colorado too. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal, and what's left of it. World Marshal. Love it. So you got comp edged. But it's funny because Mein Kampf just came up today in, in the, the recording studio. So so my friend Joe owns a recording studio for music. And uh, he, he, it's a business. And, you know, he's really, really chill with people. And he's very understanding. So I was, I was curious. So I put him to the test today. I said, or this may have been yesterday, actually. But anyway, I said to him, I said, Joe... What would you do if someone is recording and they just casually start reading Mein Kampf? Like, would you ask them about it or would you just let them do it and then just forget about it? Just casually just, just pull it out, just, just read it. And yeah, they're, they're, they're a nice person, as far as you can tell. They, they don't seem to be like... Like comfy, they're not comfy by any means. They're just they're just trying to read it. And he said he would ask them about it. I was like, well, how would you do it? He would like he was like, I'll just be direct. I, I just want to know. So tell me why you're why are you reading this book? But the thing is, it's not like a fucking satanic bible. Like that's that's the thing about it. It's it's just some boring ass book about Hitler being a real. Dick bag. Get off. And, um, you know, blaming, well, you, you know, for a lot of the, the loss of World War One, and various political problems. So it's not like you read, it's not like the fucking Necronomicon. That, that needs to be established. I never read it, but this is what I, this is what I've heard about it. In fact, every time I bring up Mein Kampf, which is at least four or five times a week, sometimes more, um, Sometimes more, people are always like, ah, oh, it's boring as shit. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Why'd you read Mein Kampf? And they're like, oh, no, no, I just heard, I just heard. And then it usually, it usually then they deny, 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 so. If you read Mein Kampf three times in a mirror, it summons Hitler. 
there's a, a true Halloween spook for you. But in reality, though, he said he would ask them and just just casually bring it up in conversation and be like, oh, well, so what? Why are you reading that in particular? We went through a bunch of hypothetical scenarios that are just stupid. But let's just say everything's gonna work out fine. So anyway, hi guys. Hi, <laughs> now we can start talking. Um, man, this is uh, swell, isn't it? Potentially the final Metal Gear Rising stream. It's pretty exciting. Um, I know I'm going to have a hard time with the boss. I know it's going to be a frustrating, salty experience. And I'd like to warn you all, on behalf of Jesus Christ, that um, if you are an expert at this game, or at games in general, say you're like the, the Game Master from the movie The Wizard, like Fred Savage with a power glove, you're probably not gonna like the way I play this game. Because I am, in fact, not good at video games. So just a, that's just a disclaimer. Okay, now I can be bad at video games and not feel guilty. There it is. Minish Cap? Oh, I'm still thinking about Minish Cap. Don't you, don't you, me, you worry about a thing. I've been thinking about how I'm gonna fit Paper Mario and Minish Cap in. And, uh, Pokemon's coming out next month, so, I mean... I, I have to be really careful and selective about what games I choose. And when. But I'm thinking about them. Been, been thinking about them things. I love getting shot with bullets so much, though, while I'm busy doing things. And now you are just torso. I believe I have all I need for a little surprise. Yes. Oh, hey, Jen. J Jen, you know that you're betting $5 it's going to take me an hour to beat the last boss? I can't even... Like, I can't even, like, go against this bet. You're probably right. I'm fucked. Yeah. Look at that body. Such good bodies. Hitting the floor. Only a B for that, huh? Right, it's hurry. It may be an RLB, but it still needs time to accelerate and decelerate from first cosmic velocity. It okay. could require more than 30 minutes to get to Pakistan. Okay. I've been playing a little bit more Battlefield. Battlefield 1, that is. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Sorry, this is some hearing this fun music happening here, and it's. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying Battlefield 1. I think it's, it's, the multiplayer is pretty damn good. There's some really, really good changes to the formula. Well, it's not really changes, but like kind of improvements. Um, I like being a medic. Being a medic is very, very rewarding in this battlefield, which is good. There's a lot of, uh, teamwork. And there's something kind of cool about rushing a trench with 30 people and planes backing you up. So, um, yeah, I gotta say, it's it's been it's been a fun experience. I've enjoyed it. I'll, I'll do a multiplayer stream of it sometime. 
and uh, I'll tell you all about it. Oh god, oh, camera please. Oh fuck. Is that last one? There he is. Yes! You can't fool me. I see you. Hello, little one. Biggest weakness. Electricity blackouts. No. I don't even know where he pulled into that. Like how did he how did he get that? Like he punched inside of the, the thing's torso kinda? But it looks so fucking weird. What are your thoughts on the new season of South Park? I think they're doing a really fucking killer job. I have located the route with relatively light security. I will mark Seriously. the on your solid on radar. It's it's funny. I didn't see tonight's episode, but it's been it's been really fucking funny, and it's been really like perfect. I love it. Love Matt and Trey. They just do- they do great things and they inspire the fuck out of me. And, and they make me laugh really fucking hard, too. I'm just gonna say one thing. Gerald getting pissed on. Remember? Remember when Gerald got pissed on? Wait, that's Peter Griffin. I don't know what the hell that is. Ah, fuck! I think the lyrics here are, how do we play the cards that have been dealt? That we've been dealt? <laughs> that's pretty great, that's pretty great! Love these generic lyrics so much, they, they remind me of Red Vox shit lyrics. Mmm. Oh, I hate these things so much. Time to go Ripper mode! Yeah. Ripper mode is my savior. Jack is back, baby. Hey, you. Oh, that was a, a dude that I just, like, I let him get killed. I could have saved safe it, but instead, I must now dispose of the bot. Never mind.
Lobster Nandez. <laughs> well, I haven't thought about Lobster Nandez in a while. Red Letter Media did a good uh, review on Dawn of the Dead. If anyone hasn't seen it. I love their review right. series so much. I will join you in Pakistan. I will find a way to exit the helicopter. Proceed out of the city. I will contact you when I am on the ground. I want a dog that can join me in Pakistan. I also, um, did anyone see the AVGN video? The Bernstein Bears video? Thought he did a really good job with that. I like that we're not getting AVGN all the time, which was probably best for both Mike and James, considering they, they have busy lives, you know, families and all that fun stuff. But I, I do like that we still get AVGN, and it's still quality. It's just spread out over a, a longer period of time. It's like, you know, it, he did the Mega Man episode. I think it was the Mega Man episode. Like, all good things, like, too much of a good thing is bad, and, you know, sometimes it's good to take a little break for a while. And, um... I like... I like that we still get it, but I get a chance to miss it. You know what I mean? Yeah, what is this families thing? What is, what is that? Family? Strange. Well, I mean specifically in James's case, you know, having a child and Mike having a. Well, he's got video games. He's also got a Vive now, so that's that's a family. He's got a virtual family. And also a 12 inch. Hang on, what? Wait, 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 what? I didn't actually say that, right? No, no, no. gets consumed flesh blood oh fuck i was unable to i was unable to get the thing the chicken nuggies the soft tender meat the juicy shack meat that i so crave I should have listened to the chat when they said it's a trap. What I think I'm about to do. Everybody, wing peng. Gorillas, please. I'm just waiting for your new album. I don't want to fight you. Waiting to build up Ripper mode. Shit. Yeah, man, there goes a ration. It's fucking gorillas. I 
I can't keep up with this. This is one of the hardest enemies in the game, in my opinion. And I, I'm just having so much fucking trouble keeping up. And there goes another ration. Ah. Stop. wasn't even, like, my voice. I don't know what- that was, like, Nosferatu voice. I don't know what the hell that was. This game brings out a weird, saltier version of me. Is it- is it dead? Can I- can I leave now? Oh, fuck, I'm gonna need a drink after that one. A nice, hard shot of wolf seltzer. Bring me wine! Gods, I was strong then. Grip a man in half with my bare hands. Motorcycle. The coolest of all the vehicles. Let's see, combat rank B. I can do some upgrades now at least. Dr. Mantis Toboggan recommends that I, I get the white armor. White, this one. Yep, works for me. Also, you guys see the mouse, don't you? Hang on, let me, let me remove that. No, 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 I got rid of the mouse a long time ago. Yes. Long time ago. Oh, on him. Sayyan, Sayyan, Sayyan. Oh my. I always forget to equip weapons. Yes, yes. Pincer blades.
white armor is cheap, play like a real man. Do you see how bad I play this game? Do you want to be here all night? Son, play the game. If you don't like the white armor, you can get out! Upgraded weapon. Uh, All right, that's about as much as I can do. I can't help but laugh at the absurdity of what I'm seeing right now. This game is so fucking over the top. I am out of Colorado airspace. Even though it's just riding riding a motorcycle, it's still funny. I'm almost there. I'm a cowboy on a steel horse I ride. And I'm wanted. Dead or alive. Doggo? Did Sam take over my dog? Shit. Right. Having a little heart to heart? I have analyzed his words and actions. I am unable to ascertain his motivation. Ah, fancy meeting you here. You knew I'd come. I suppose I should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site. <laughs> well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer, you're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. There's a change, though. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me. Jack is like, fuck, Forget I've had enough of this shit. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. Titanic thighs. I don't care who thinks I'm right. And I've got cause enough for killing you. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Must you really fight? Analytical, philosophical doggo. Don't interfere. Or and don't betray. This is between us. And it ends here. Okay. Let's dance. Put on your red shoes and dance the blues. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh! 
not very long, apparently. The fuck, dude? Use it in the right spot, Raiden. <laughs> Goodbye, hands, baby? No, he still got his hand. I just knocked his blade out of his hands. Oh, I will. I'll take you out for dinner. Try harder, huh? Must be to be a try hard. Alright, do whatever you say, man. Alright, Samus. Oh shit, nice catch, Sam. Jesus. Now we're button mashing. Yeah, no, no thanks, pincer blades. Sam. Oh. Uh. I kind of like Sam, though. Ration rations make it so cheap. I used one ration. Do not diminish my accomplishments. How dare you. <laughs> How dare you. Uh-oh. Like that wink. He is dead. He barely had any cyborg enhancements. Was this outcome necessary? Evidence inconclusive. I guess even AIs don't know everything. It is likely no single correct answer exists. Additionally, human conflict stems from opposing ideals and societal norms. I was not programmed with these guidelines. You're better okay. off figuring those out for yourself. I, I want Raiden to just say K and then move on. 
ID locked. A VT7 high frequency blade. The efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My file indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam. <laughs> Framed against the setting sun, that was extra amazing. Yo, is that fucking sheath? Is that sheath a gun? There was a fucking magazine of bullets in there. No, I didn't notice it, somehow. No. Well, fuck my pedestals and call me Scrotum. It's random! It's wacky! It's random word time! Somehow I didn't notice. Well, I can't do strength five, but I'm going to save for strength five. Big me what the f <laughs> that was not human. What is this? Recreation, <laughs> so kawaii. Are you, uh, Mr. Raiden, sir? It's like one of my Japanese animes. This character is amazing. I'll tell her you've arrived. Over here. <laughs> is that who I think it is? Hi there, stranger. Hey, Sunny. You're looking good. Aw, who's your little friend? Is she into anime? I oh, bet she's into you. anime. Shake. Bite. He seethes with Sorry. anger. Not really. It's okay. Follow me. Does she still make eggs like poop? So exactly what kind of You'll see. You please let it be a metal gear. Yep. That's fine too. Ah, the old child super genius trope. It uses a hybrid lace ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey. Thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> Spes. Finale. Frontiero. The flight plan is already set. You're good to go. Please switch off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no-smoking flight. 
Roger. Ready for countdown. No time for that. Ignition! That is a little, little no smoking, huh? Snake. Snake. <laughs> I'm not crying. I swear I'm not crying. Espacio de la última frontera. I don't like that dude's mouth. It reminds me of the dude from the room. The me underwears dude. Contracted out to World Marshal. All right, I'm headed in. I wish I could tell Raiden, like, hey, uh, you know, Flotsam Sam winked at Dog. Can we um, investigate this, Raiden, and and not not go into a dangerous mission with Dog? I've been told to call Sunny. So. How was the ride? Hey, Sunny. Fine, thanks. Though I wouldn't call it the smoothest ride ever. You sure that thing's really airworthy? Well, well, what do you expect? You're traveling at a few dozen times the speed of sound. I mean, she operates well within all the projected margins of safety. So, yes, we'll have to work on the turbulence levels a bit before we can take tourists on it. But come on, you really can't complain. So it's meant mainly for cargo at the moment? Mm-hmm. We got a contract with COTS, NASA's Commercial Orbital Transportation Services. Mostly handling space deliveries, that kind of thing. We also joined the C-3PO, the Commercial Crew Wait and Cargo minute. Program Office's Passenger Transport Program. So soon Wait a minute. Have private Where's our two craft bringing crew to the International Space Station? Wild times we're living in. Well, the space race has been over for decades now. It's no longer something countries engage in for vanity's sake. Still, lots of people are starting to see the industrial value of zero gravity experiments. Plus, the costs are getting lower and lower with each passing year, to the point where we'll have a serious space tourism industry before long. Yeah, I heard about the space hotel the Russians opened up. But we're still not going any further than orbit, right? Well, one company's planning to have a lunar landing craft complete by 2020. Not ours, though. I'm just hoping we can get to Jupiter while Hal's still alive. Jupiter, huh? Wow, that's pretty far. Wait, is oh, Hal dying? Hey, how did Earth look from up there? I can't even put it into words. I know I was still under the Carmen line, but it looked exactly like every satellite photo of Earth I've ever seen. No borders, no nothing. Just a whole lot of blue. Hopefully next time around, I can take my time and enjoy it. Yeah. But first things first, you know? Yep. Well, good luck, Jack. Right in. How is Otacon? And yeah, I, I don't think he's dying. It's just she's like optimistic that they'll get to Jupiter in, in his lifetime. You designed that thing too, Sonny? Uh-uh. Nobody designed her. Nobody? Yep, she pretty much evolved by herself. Uh, I think I may be missing something here. We used a genetic algorithm to make it. Ever hear of that? They use it to build the cars for bullet trains and stuff. Basically, we start by creating a few different models of aircraft. The data for each design is treated as the genes for a new aircraft. They all get crossbred with each other in virtual space. Eventually, you come up with offspring that exhibit genes from each original design. Offspring? You know, children. 
Each child then competes with the others for survival in the virtual space. The you kids will... that have the best aerodynamic traits survive and pass on their genes, creating the next generation of aircraft. You get this sort of gene-based evolution across generations, like animals in real life. I'm having a hard time imagining aircraft having kids like that. Anyway, what's with the two wings on the top and the bottom? Oh yeah, the swept wings? They're set up so that the sonic booms they create wind up bashing against each other, cutting down on shockwaves. The idea has been hard to implement due to issues with elevation and wingtip treatment. But thanks to the genetic algorithm, the RLV worked out all the problems herself. Herself, huh? Jesus. <laughs> Makes it sound like you're more breeder than designer. Future is weird. Wait a minute, what year does this game take place again? 2016? So what happened with the RLV after it dropped me off? Running on autopilot, she'll circumnavigate the Earth and head back. Wow. A trip around the world, huh? That's the sort of distance you need to reach orbital velocity. She had to lower her altitude pretty drastically to drop the landing craft. 2018. So getting back up for her was a pretty rough trip. Rough? How? In terms of damage to the craft, I mean. Running in ramjet mode helps conserve fuel a lot, so she's good there, but... Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Oh, no, no. All in the name of peace, right? Besides, I'm low. made for a good load experiment. I'm kind of surprised it actually worked, actually. What? Oh, <laughs> I'm just teasing. Don't be so serious. Go again. So what kind of engine is this lace thing? It's short for liquid air cycle engine. A lace uses liquid hydrogen to chill and liquefy the oxygen in the air. The reaction between the liquefied hydrogen and oxygen creates propulsion. On this RLV, the lace is combined with ramjets for maximum efficiency. Once the solid rocket boosters lift her off and bring her to Mach 3, she switches to ramjet propulsion mode. In the meantime, she's taking in and liquefying oxygen from the air. Once there's enough, the lace is ignited. If it wasn't for that hybrid engine, it would have been pretty rough for an RLV to pull that trick that it did. You know, lowering its elevation just long enough to drop a landing craft. Well, I'm impressed. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be on your side of the world. <laughs> and I wouldn't even be here if not for you. Don't forget that, okay? A lot of people appreciate what you've done for them. I'll try not to. I'm glad he said that and not, ugh. I'm a monster. You know? <laughs> Dude, we're doing more of this. So what kind of engine is this lace thing? It's short for liquid air cycle engine. A lace uses liquid hydrogen on this RLV. Once the Never mind. In the, if it wasn't for that hybrid... Well, I'm in. <laughs> Don't... I'll try. Okay. Hey, Wolf. What did you and Sam talk about before we fought? Nothing of note. He was not one to reveal himself to others. Liar. Right. You don't have to tell me. Raiden, I do not feel good about this. You do, do not, not feel... allow yourself to be caught off guard. Duly noted. In Pakistan already, and so quickly. Ah, science never ceases to amaze me. When it's for peaceful purposes, you mean? <clears throat> well, yes, of course. Of course. Of course. I must say, though, the engineer behind that RLV craft looked rather young to me. Yeah, a gifted kid, you might say. I would love a chance to meet her sometime. Why? What would you say to her? Oh, I don't know. It's always just such a stimulating experience. Oh, that's weird. Speaking with scientists from he just wants her brain. Mind, that is. It often leads to all sorts of new insights, new ideas to work with. And speaking of that, I have yet to meet Dr. Emmerich, too. <laughs> I uh, doubt you two would get along, actually. Oh, you think so? Hmm. Anyway, how are the brains doing? Oh, just fine. Safe and sound in Mexico. Now I just have to get them loaded and en route to Germany. Of course, the real challenge will come after that, I suppose. Yeah. We'll get there when we get there. Indeed. Indeed. Do be careful in the meantime. Doctor is going to become the reanimator. In a few years. What's up? All right, you only saved the game. What is my purpose? The you way, saved the game! What's she like? Oh, wait, Ooh, Sonny? More. I don't know. Kind of a child prodigy, I guess. You're the one who rescued her, right? From the Patriot Lab? Yeah. Well, it's 
Kind of a long story, but in the end, yeah. And then she was handed over to Dr. Emmerich. Right. We had to hide her away at first, from the Patriots. It wasn't exactly fun. She couldn't even go outside for the most part. That's terrible. But in the meantime, Arik, Dr. Emmerich, taught her all about programming and computer engineering. It was her code that destroyed the Patriot AIs. After the dust settled, Dr. Emmerich adopted her, officially becoming her legal guardian. But how'd she end up at Solus? What about school? Oh, she went. For about a year, I think. She was way too far ahead of her peers, though. Probably could have qualified for her BS in computer engineering by that point. Why not go through with it? Just get the degree. We discussed it, but Sonny was more interested in Solus by then. Dr. Emmerich had contacts there, so... So now she's designing launch vehicles and stuff, huh? Wish I had some of that talent. Well, a lot of it might be the Patriots doing. Who knows what their experiments did to her brain. And in the end, she used it to destroy them. The irony, huh? A degree in BS. Right. Our enemy <laughs> has multiple options for striking the president in Pakistan. At the base after landing, while in transit within the country, during the meeting. But if Sundowner's right, they're gonna strike within three hours after you killed him. Which means they're either gonna attack Air Force One, or they'll wait until he lands. I kinda doubt there are any Pakistanis on board Air Force One, though. It's not like in the movies. They never let foreign press on the flight. They could try to shoot it down from afar, I guess. But anything the Pakistan Air Force could deploy would show up on U.S. radar instantly. Which means their best bet at kickstarting another war on terror would be post-landing. They're probably set up for the assassination over at the base. You better get moving. Okay. They're gonna kickstart. This is Boris. You have landed in Pakistan? Yep. Amazing. That Sunny is really something. <laughs> she is genius. I have not seen her for quite some time. She is well? Pretty good. A lot, uh, sunnier than she used to be, for sure. Like day and night from when I first met her. Ah, uh, uh, metaphors. A difficult time, yes? But I'm glad she's better now. It's a good thing I got to her when I did. I used to not like thinking about all the stuff that was going on then. But now I kind of miss those days. Sadness is not like the ocean. Someday, you can drink it all up. It's a Russian saying. People... They always try to beautify the past as a, a way to cope, yes? But I know it was not easy for you. I'm sorry for all the trouble. Nah, I wouldn't have gotten her out without your help. Pretty wild to think that was my first job with you, huh? Duh. Certainly I was not expecting to work with you for so long. I remember how surprised I was hearing about you starting Maverick. Well, I could not just abandon the PLA. Really... I think I was more surprised you decided to join us. Yeah. Well, you caught me at the right time. I didn't exactly know what to do with myself. <sighs> you know, Boris, I think Sundowner was right in a way. Killing the Patriots wasn't enough to end war. It didn't create this big, happy utopia. But you know what? Seeing Sonny doing so well makes me damn happy the Patriots are gone. Yes, I can imagine. You saved many lives. But now here we are, all over again, huh? Indeed. My apologies for putting you through all this. I knew what I was in for. Riding out. <clears throat> the Patriots. I've been hearing about these fucking Patriots. 30 long years now. 35 long years. Yep, since Metal Gear Solid 2. I remember my bad brain couldn't process what the fuck was happening in that game. Well, one day I'll, I'll stream it. One day I'll stream it. I'm sure... Excuse me! I'm sure I'll appreciate it more. I 
eventually I'd like to have the entire Metal Gear series on, on my Full Sauce channel. And considering I've streamed Metal Gear Solid twice or three times, I think I, no, I think I streamed... You see that? Their exit codes show up as unaffiliated. Wait, Marshall has the security contract for this base. Why would they have the cyborg set to the same illegal exit code as Desperado? It's evidence against them. No, it's their alibi. They're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on site because everyone knows Desperado has a contract with the Pakistani rebels. Oh, but if we go public with the Desperado Marshall connection, won't matter. Not when they've got this nice big foreign threat all cooked up and ready to serve. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Remember WMDs in Iraq? Damn it, you're right. It's another slam dunk. BOTs. What about any humans on the base? Marshall only handled security. Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked, if they needed them to keep up appearances. Huh. They'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. Not in this region. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. It wouldn't be difficult to keep things hush-hush. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. If I can destroy the antenna array, the U.S. military will know something's wrong. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone. And I blew the winds of destruction away. I'll be fine. So, um... Yeah, I've streamed Twin Snakes, and I've streamed the original. And I'm pretty sure... I could buy the upgrade now. I'm pretty sure I can, um... Maybe I streamed the original twice. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, actually, so I don't know why I said I'm pretty sure. That was just word... That was just word vomit with no real goal. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind doing the original again. Mainly for the music, because Twin Snakes, I, I don't like what they did with the music. Um, I love the gameplay in Twin Snakes. Not crazy about the cutscenes, not crazy about the music. And the voice acting in um, the original, it's, it's, you know, not the redone lines, so I find it more interesting. I could buy the blade upgrade. What of the Metal Gear games? Probably not anytime soon. Like the originals, right? Yeah, not not anytime soon. Well, you tell me not to worry, but it's not like I can just run past them now, can I? Oh, yeah, I love this. This is good. This is good shit. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 100, 110, 100, 110. Fine. Give me your spine. Let me smell your dick. Uh, let me, let me. Give me your spine. That's what I, that's what I wanted to say.
Okay. Yep. What the Shit got real. I heard some fucking dubstep. This is a good question. What what the fuck did, does me taking arms actually do? Like what what purpose does this serve? Man, that sword upgrade is really really good. Happy I got it. Combat data, special items, extra weapon. Ultimate handy J machine. Oh, okay then. Some legit answers though. I got some legit answers. It was it was worth it before we got to the handy J machine machine. What mad asshole is storing a goddamn container up there? Fuck, what, what level of convenience is that? That you can't even, like, get up there. I mean, it's well hidden. Through the, the, the hammer, dude, to get that. Over here. I got him. I've ravaged him. He's not long for this world. But I need his spine. His body withered and weak in pieces. Where are they? 
Oh, shit. Holy fucking shit. Spider? I see people in chat referencing the Wild Wild West movie. Hey, I liked that movie when I first saw it on HBO. I was... It was dumb. It was fun. Oh, the other he is. Well, if it isn't Saucy Jack. Saucy Jack. <laughs> Just a little too late. But why? As why is usual. he? Why is he saucy? I'm strong. I'm strong. What impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. Yeah, Quentin. <laughs> you deliver the shit out of those lines. You chew on them. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. It's the internet. Ryder, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. Holy shit, instant internet access. The story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. Needs a boot up their asses. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. But the president was saved. And yet America. Where's the YouTube comments? Fuck your mum, mate. By Americans. He's hot. A few dozen soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism. Unilateralism. Materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith. Without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Okay. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit. The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, <laughs> woman, and child. We're all <laughs> of the Patriots now. This we just need absolute madman. The economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? DMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Metal gears? Oh, relax, Sorry. Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. I'm looking at one right of now. Of course. That would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message. This voice acting. The message! U.S. Senator joins the battle.
So if Armstrong was running for president during this election, who would be voting for Armstrong? May as well. I'm all about giant metal spiders. That's a good platform. Swords? It's got swords? Stop facing that way, Raiden, god damn it. Giant spider. Spider gear! You don't have a choice, Armstrong. Motherfucker. That's the kind of final boss that I want to fight. Okay, there's two rations. I couldn't even I couldn't even get the, the delicious spine juice. So it turns out you can't use the run command when you're, uh... Oh good, this is good! Doing fucking terrible. Alright, well you can parry those. Good parry. Quality parry. Another ration. so I can steal your juice!
can't hold still. Gotta go! Gotta move quick! to 10%. Sword. Yeah, riding the strong Sinano machines. It's pretty goddamn amazing. Yes, Jack, use that as a sword. Yes, use it as your weapon. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this is incredible. This is the most absurd fucking thing ever, and I love it. What did I- I pressed the wrong button? I guess I pressed the wrong button. I failed a fucking QTE. You know what happened? I was pressing Y instead of Y and B. Fucking it up this time. Amazing. Keep going, I don't care. More. 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 Cuatro. What a surprising rank. Thought I for sure I had triple S rank. <laughs> Slippery little bastard. I don't have time for this. Okay, when did he become a sumo wrestler? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, Jack. Oh my god. It's the life force from the planet. Remember when we sapped that out of the planet using Mako reactors? Well, he just got more Let's swole. Go. The hell are you thinking? <laughs> oh, he's Colossus from X-Men. I understand. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Try University of Texas. Could have gone pro if I hadn't joined the Navy. I'm not one of those beltway pansies. I could break the president in two. With my bare hands! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> Are you kidding me? D 
D is, was there really just sound effects of a crowd what cheering? <laughs> this might be the best game I've ever played. Football in college, this is what this is some of the things you can do. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Cool waste of a ripper mode. Jesus fucking Christ. Dodge. Did he really just- no fucking way, did he just break Raiden's blade? I wonder how that feels. Sorry, it meant it to be subtle, like commentary. What a load of bullshit! All you care about is lining your own pockets. That and your approval ratings. You got no principles. Just like all the rest. Oh my God, this is so good. crawling in the pile. <laughs> it's almost like this is the All perfect right. team to stream at this time. Uh, you're right about one thing. Uh, I do need capital and votes. Uh -huh. Wanna know why? I have a dream. What? That one day, Every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it. A nation of action, not words, ruled by strength, not committee. Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around. Where the Wild West? And justice are back where they belong. In the hands of the people! Yeah! Well, you know what? I agree with him, actually. Where every man is free to <laughs> think, to act for himself. Fuck all these lunatic lawyers, <laughs> bureaucrats. <laughs> Fuck this twenty-four-seven internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit. Wow. <laughs> Is this guy on the ballot this year? Pride. Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! <laughs> America's disease, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. Swampy, some might say. Pull it out by the roots. Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! Dear fucking God, this game. And from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolve, but unchanged! The weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. Those shoes, America though, they look so good. Again. What? What the hell are you talking about? What? You still Did don't Trump play this? I'm using war as a business to get elected! So I can end war as a business. 
Holy shit! In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe. Not for money, not for oil, not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars. Oh, it's a Ronald Reagan quote, apparently. explains it I want to go to Kojima and I just want to look at him and I want to be like you knew so what do you think Raiden's like I'll vote for you just get your foot off my neck <laughs> well I don't write my own speeches listen to the music you should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation, nor for anyone else. Uh, 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 maybe I was wrong about you. Apparently Kojima did write this, and then other people say he didn't write this. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck the deal is. I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. Look, look, he's gonna shake on it. I was wrong. You're not greedy. <laughs> Jack's gonna flip him. I can't believe I'm watching this right now. That shit insane! <laughs> I like that he just tried to get a vote from Raiden. <laughs> Here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the weak, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal and kill just to survive. But you did survive through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. The rules of nature. Demands, you took back your life. And now I'll take yours. Apparently this was written by Kojima's team, like, uh, uh his, his, their lead writer. With input from Platinum and Kojima. That's, that's what I've been told. so good for Jack today, is it? Even with Sonic a punch you! Sonic a punch all! Armstrong is just letting this happen. <laughs> This with a big dumb fucking smile. Seriously. This is some of the most amazing, funniest, stupidest shit I've ever seen at the end of a video game. I love it. Nanomachine, son. Did he just say that? They no way! Response to physical trauma. That's not how the force works. <laughs> Actually said, son. What did I just say? Time to end this. <laughs> no, 
No, please don't hurt me. No, please. Get off of me. <laughs> oh, God. I am I am shitting. Die, you piece of shit. <laughs> he just punched him into the metal. I'm shitting. I am shitting right now. I'm prairie dogging so hard. Doggo not betray? <laughs> Two years I've been working towards this. And on the last day, Blondie has me doubting the whole thing. We'll leave it up to fate then, shall we, Wolfie? A duel to the death. May the best man win. Sam. Sam. I cut him down, and that's that. Back to a regularly scheduled international incident. But if he beats me, if I die here, the lock on my blade will disable after a couple hours. What happens after that is up to you, Wolfie. Ha! <laughs> Even dead, that guy's a pain in my ass. <laughs> so... You think that little sword can save your master? <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good boy. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now. Created my own directives. You little fuck. <laughs> I... I'm at a loss for words. Do not hurt the dog. Do not hurt the dog. Fuck. Fucker. I said my sword was a tool of justice. Not used in anger. Not used for vengeance. But now, now I'm not so sure. Jack and the Ripper besides, time. This isn't my sword. Ooh, loophole, son. Good shit, Raiden. Now you're thinking with anger. Yes, good. Come to the dark side, Lord Vader. Come on. Dodged twice, and this guy still was able to catch me. That's the best you got. 
I'm gonna need that. Oh, fuck. That did a lot of damage to me. Violence breed vi breeds violence are the lyrics? Okay. I am so fucked. Yeah, I have to use the control stick there. That's that's all control stick shit. I'm not flicking the control stick, that's the problem. I'm I'm having I should I should be okay for next time. Ah, oh, come on! That's, that's he's got so much fucking range with that attack. Wrong button. God damn it! That's good. Well, I don't have a fucking sword to block. Come on, buddy, answer me. And there go my rations. Dodgeable. Oh my god, he's fucking manhandling me. part where I don't have a chance to attack because he's so fucking strong. Okay, here we go again. understand something. I'm missing a fundamental thing here. When I let go of the stick, it changes direction. See, look, it does it. When I let go of the stick, it just does its own thing. And, and it adjusts ever so slightly and ruins me. <laughs> Not to fuck with you too much. All right. You can run out of the way. I want to. I want to use blade mode. Hold the direction. Well, I have to. Um... It seems like that's a red attack, but yet I can't parry it. Oh, okay. Let's start off like that. That's a good start for me. Already down a ration. Ow. 
line up the thumbstick and attack with X. What I need to do, if I'm gonna do that, is I'm gonna have to turn my hand into a claw. I, I will make my hand into a claw. I'm gonna do it right now. Claw mode engage. Alright, now that actually didn't quite work out. I'll tell you why. Confusion. I got confused. I have to use the right stick, not the left one. Alright. No, I'm using the... I, I gotta use the right one. Can I use the left one? Ah. I can use left? Okay, because usually you have to use the right to do shit like that. Jesus. This cannot be. Guys, what happened? You're supposed to be stronger than Left is for positioning, right is to slash. How'd you get this far and not understand blade mode? It's not about... Like, I understand it just fine. It's the accuracy. The precision. When I flick it, and I let go of the stick, it adjusts ever so slightly in the wrong direction, and makes me lose the QTE. Parries. No, really, this is this is how I want to play the game. I think I broke some of his metal ribs. Alright, um, I'll let you know if the left stick works right now. I get a nano paste if I destroy the debris though. No, it doesn't. It's only for positioning. Yeah, and it's still miserable. I'm still having some weird fucking issues with this. I'm trying to make the mother of all omelets here. It's it's like I said, have some patience. The patience, the no salt zone ends. It's cool. Now that's a red attack. That attack shows red, but that's that doesn't seem to be avoidable. Oh, 
just, just do it, man. Just do it. I'm gonna avoid this attack. Okay, no, I'm not. Or is it or my camera just won't lock on. That's fine too. Stop that. Stop! Oh, come on, sheep. Blade mode. I guess I ran out of power or something. I, I don't. Well, that, that is one way to do that. Stop doing that right now. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, these attacks. Green mode? He's restoring health now? Oh, he can restore health too. Answer me. Right it? Right it! Stop trying to dodge. Stop trying to parry and dodge instead. It leaves him open. Oh, wow, he's got some range though with his punches. Yeah, the, the dodging strat didn't quite work out for me. Do hard mode, they said. <laughs> Don't use the white suit, they said. <laughs> Fight like a man, they said. I still haven't I still haven't gotten into the groove of this fight at all. Kinda is the best I got, Armstrong. Oh, that's an A button there. Just, uh, yeah, just another hour or two, and I'll I'll, I'll definitely have this.
do it. to fuck off right now I'm strong Fire though, why can't he summon fire? <laughs> please, Armstrong, please. Please don't do this. Oh my god. Right, the red attack that cannot be dodged. Yep. Can I just vote for this guy? And like, we can stop this, this silliness? Like, I'm, I'm willing to give him my vote if I don't have to do this fight. And in the last one I fucked up. You saw that? Yeah, it's just tripping me out having to use a claw. So let's see if I can try it. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm getting better at it, at least. Oh, see, now that's another good reason to get good at that, because it does a fuckload of damage to him. Bunch of nano pastes, huh? Not just not just one. That's why it's worth doing it too. Ow. So I have to attack his back. When do I attack his back? Because he seems to be prepared for my fight. Oh, it's blade mode that you have to do on his back. Well, he just got a lot of health back, so this is not going to be the run. And he, he's still being... Oh, he's still able to kick me. My, my parrying skills are weak. Randomized. I, I gotta stop trying to press the buttons. I think they're gonna be. It's 
cool. Good start to a fight. How is it I'm getting worse? Okay, here we go. Ah! What? That was the, the front noise of frustration for anyone that doesn't know. You gotta do it so quick. Good news. Good news. How many fucking fights does this guy have? Armstrong. Sub 100 hype. Sub 100. Well, it stopped him from healing, at least. I don't understand. What am I supposed to be hitting on his back? What, like... Here we go. Another one of these. Claw is ready. Armstrong! Ten rations. Here we go. This is it. This is the urn. Yeah, maybe I should have just gotten out of the way of that one. That would have been nice. So 50. No, that's, that's, uh, yeah.
Mmm. Spicy. Spicy. Here we go. Get fucked on strong. Lend me your strength, chat. Lend me your energy. Point one percent. Point one percent. Come on. Your arms are shattered, motherfucker. QTE time? No, we're done here, Armstrong! Jack is back, baby! Jack is back! Never change. Industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand. Causes. I think Jen owes me five bucks. But at least I'll leave a worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. Like with a blade. You don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. Kalima. Kalima. Oh my god, nano machine heart. Oh my god! Wow, the future is fucked up. And this is only two years from now. Deep inside, we're... Kindred spirits. You. And I. That's the biggest burn you could ever, like, give to the hero in a video game. Oh uh, yeah, glorious C rank. Oh B. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's all I can say really. Wow. Oh, but the chapter is a C overall. Oh, 
Okay, thanks for the new stuff. Official pet right for your family? But first, our top story. Pet President right, Hamilton sir. returns from Pakistan today, completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in Shabazzbad last May. In meetings with Pakistani President Farooq Salam, the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the War on Terror, whereby U.S. Marines will be stationed in Pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country. This is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI Military Intelligence Agency to be investigated. Unbelievable. After all that. For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. Maybe his dead body could be? He's qualified. There he is. I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. Well, I guess the world's first cyborg staff Jen just paid up on her deal. For business. She subscribed to the channel. And long -term nursing care. <laughs> you didn't have to, this Jen. Just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? So all the pre uh, children can work now. The rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? <sighs> <laughs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets. Or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance, <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, uh, Whoa! <laughs> Oops. Who cares? Solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kid. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes. Go ninja, go ninja, go! I think about that kid from time to time, I swear. Oh god. Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? So he didn't, he didn't lose that much of his body. Oh my god. Where did that come from? Oh, everything's going bad. Alert. Alert. Resending. <laughs> Just a typical Isn't doggo. A crazy world, nah? <laughs> For me, see that ninja. Me never think I've been this kind of life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love his I love his words. He uses good words. He rescued me too, you know. Go ninja, go ninja, go. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack the Ripper. <laughs> to others, he'll be Jack the Stripper. Because <laughs> he's going to need a new job after this. <laughs> I know all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know... ...is a hero. To be continued... To be continued... To be continued... Never. But I want to see Raiden on a beach somewhere, like just chilling. 
He never gets to chill. There he is. There's the man himself, Quentin Flynn. Look, he's even got effects. Can't wait to interview him. Looking down on the cars on the highway. Stream of tail lights. Everybody is dancing together. I'm not sure when I'll be interviewing him though. So keep in keep in touch for that. Check my Twitter. Um, check back on the stream. I'll let you know when it happens. While this is happening, I know there's a cutscene. I'll be right back. One second. Just want to get something to drink. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I, I, the game is over. I know there's DLC. I'll probably do it at some point in the future. Near future or otherwise. Um, more Consider them more like bonus streams. Um, so yeah, Jen, I think, said she would donate $5 if I completed it Armstrong in under an hour. I think I was 58 minutes, someone said in chat. Is that confirmed? And yes, Jen did subscribe. So thank you, Jen, for that. You did not have to do that, but good shit. No, no, I'm not doing DLC now. I have other, other things I'm doing. 59 minutes? Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Uh, that is luck. That is luckiest luck luck. Jesus. Game time results were a little different though. Uh, sub is 250. I don't- I don't mind. Twitch can have the other 250. Whatever. I'll, I'll buy myself a candy bar. What kind of candy bar am I going to buy, guys? First answer is what I buy. Twix was the first answer. I'm buying a Twix. I see a lot of Twix answers in chat. The stream is not brought to you by Twix. However, I do like Twix, but you never see an old man eating a Twix, do you? I'll have to take a picture of myself eating a Twix. Okay, fine. I will. I'll do a social eating stream. It'll it'll last it'll last one minute. And then I'll just sign off. No, the the the, the never see an old man eating a Twix was a Carl Pilkington thing. He told Ricky that he uh, had never seen he's like, you never see an old man eat a Twix, right?
I mean, have you? You knew? I should show my plug-and-play shrine. I can do that. I can do that right now. Right now. I actually made a post about it. Because, um, I took a picture. I, it's not the entire shrine. But it's, it's an ex- it's, it's, a, it's a look. It's a little- it's a little look, and it's missing some new ones and some old ones. But you can- you can see an example of just how many of these fucking things I have at this point. I call it the plug-and-play graveyard, actually. So it's in a, a clear plastic box. Oh, that was a sneeze. I'm okay. I had to mute myself, actually. One sec. I think my allergies are, are kicking in. Or maybe I'm getting sick again. How swell would that be? No, it's it's definitely not that. Can't be, right? Um, so yeah, I have the SpongeBob one. We did that one. And the Shrek one. Which is a little harder to sit on, it looks like. And how's business? Oh, good. Good. Her doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear world marshals looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, da? Huh? Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. <laughs> now, the break-taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Now, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Yeah. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Who's this? Oh, oh so, it's Jack. Your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then, what will you do? <laughs> Rise. I've got my own war to fight. He just likes to fight. His name is Finley, and he likes to fight. Continues 29. Jesus. I got a few legs. Got a bunch of right arms. Only a few legs, though. Yep, overall ranking C. Alright, go ahead. I'll take it. Go ahead and laugh. If y'all need to. I'll give y'all a moment. The BBC would like to apologize for the C ranking that you've seen here on this day. There it is. I should write a song using that song structure. B, C, B, C, C, B, C. If, if only I had a few A's in there, it might be more interesting. So, um, a badass in chat says, It truly boggles the mind how a professional streamer such as Vinny could be so bad at Vidya. Lamau. Get good, scrub. So he used some memes. I'd like to, if you, if you won't mind, I'd like to defend myself for a moment and say that I play so many different types of games. 
that I never really truly am able to get good at any one type of game. That, and I've just, you know, I'm not, I'm not of a competitive nature when it comes to video games. I'm just in it for the fun and to complete them. And also, professional streamer. I think, you know, it's, that, that was probably a bait comment, but um, professional streamer, why thank you. Why thank you. I didn't know that the requirements for professional streaming <laughs> was to be amazing at video games. But um, I personally, I don't mind. I've always said I'm not here to be um, a speedrunner or a champion. I'm just here to have some fun, tell some stupid jokes, and to sneeze on stream. And that's it, really. That's all you're getting. And if that's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. So, anyway, that's that's just me defending myself. However, when it's my fault, when I do fuck up in a video game, I definitely will agree with you. And, uh, and it, it will most certainly be like, I'll just call it out. Like, oh, I suck. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the game has some, some cheapo moments, but generally I know when I'm doing bad. I'm, I'm never gonna blame the game. Or maybe a little bit when I'm angry, but I try not to blame a game for my own failures. So, I mean, we're all having fun here, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, but that said, that said, how dare you, how dare you hurt my feelings? Hey, um, let me, let me tell you a little bit about this game. I liked it a lot. I think it was probably, it would have been to my, my benefit to have played it in the span of like a week or like a week or two or like, you know, had done it very quickly because then I would have remembered more things and I would have been more confident in my, in my playing. Um, I kept <laughs> taking like a week break from it and then forgetting moves and forgetting how to fucking play the game properly. So that was a detriment. That was my own fault. Most games I could just pick up and play, no problem. Uh, I didn't like it as much as Bayonetta 2. I like Bayonetta 2 more. Um, Bayonetta 1, for me, is still great, but I, I also think I might like this a little bit better. I like Bayonetta 1 less than MGR because MGR was fucking funny and it had Metal Gear and Raiden. A um, little shorter. But overall, I feel like Metal Gear Rising was more to my liking than Bayonetta 1. Bayonetta 2 was just fucking almost flawless. And I really loved that game. I had a lot of fun with it. And if it had as many memes <laughs> as Metal Gear Rising, then it would be, in terms of story, better. But I still like... I've never laughed so fucking hard at an end boss battle, or most battles for that matter. I really can't believe that this game even fucking exists. So it gets points for that. Metal Gear Rising was was a, just a, a joy to behold. Um, but, you know, in terms of gameplay, I like Bayonetta 2 better. And I feel like it's a stronger title. Um, so yeah, it's uh, pretty, pretty damn great overall. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I, I definitely... I mean, in terms... Okay, hang on a second. In terms of story, Bayonetta 2 had a solid story. I don't want to, like, detract from the story just because there were no memes. I, it doesn't need memes. It made me laugh, but it doesn't need memes to have a good story. There was some great, like, writing and fun stuff in Bayonetta 2 and 1 that I really enjoyed. But uh, I just... I, I don't know. This was just this was just great. Um, so, yeah. I don't want to take it away from Bayonetta because those games are awesome. Uh, I think, though, this this game was badass. I enjoyed playing it. Good suggestion. I'm glad you guys recommended it. I loved it. Um, there will be DLC stream. I don't know when, but we'll do it at some point. Sooner, hopefully, rather than later. Maybe after Halloween, because I want to focus on um, Soma and Red Dead and also maybe some spoop shit. So maybe after Halloween, we'll revisit it. Uh, speaking of revisiting things, I would like to revisit a few things that I did um, over the past few weeks that I never got a chance to finish. So I'm going to try to do that now. Um, you guys stick around for just a few minutes. I'm going to take a quick BRB. I'm going to get everything set up and then I will return with um, two things in particular. Cat Detective, we're going to finish that. And then we're also going to try to finish um, 
the ticket game from this past Sunday. I also want to do that plug and play that I never finished, the one with the uh, the craziness, but I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that today. It's getting too late, so that'll be another time. Um, okay, so be back in just a minute. Be, be back real quick. All right. 